Hello and welcome to this latest uh, live stream on Facebook uh, on behalf of Psychic Truth. My name is Luna Craft and I will be your host for this session. Sorry it's starting late but a few technical issues along the way but I think we've got them cracked now. Uh, just a little bit about me. Um, I've worked as a professional psychic for a good number of years now, um, but my very first um, experience of things psychic that I remember was on the night that my grandfather died and I was staying with my grandmother, sharing her bed, and which meant I was sleeping on his side of the bed and he came and stood right next to me and wanted to know what I was doing, taking up his bed space. Funnily enough, although he was quite angry at my presence in his bed, he was, I wasn't frightened. And from that point on, I've had odd experiences when I've focused in on psychic things. But more and more just lately, my skills are opening up and I'm, I now work with a regular team of four guides. And funnily enough, they, the ones who help me on a daily basis are all family members. And oh, we do sometimes have quite a laugh between us. Um, and I rely on my guides, but I also use tarot cards just to establish a connection between me, the seeker or client and the guides. I normally deal out 10 cards and then look for associations within the, the images that I'm being shown and then my guides come in and give me fuller information or indeed I pick information up by intuitive means. I'm what's known as an intuitive psychic rather than clairaudient or clair, uh, clairvoyant or one of the other clairs. Um, although I am clairsentient, I'm an empath and I pick up on people's emotions and feelings very closely. Um, I'm not getting any messages through just at the moment. Uh, so I don't know if anyone out there is looking for a reading. I'm hoping that it will happen. Um, I know on my previous session, I was very very busy and it was a wonderful experience and I'm really looking forward to repeating that. Um, as I said I now work for Psychic Truth alongside of working for Psychics Connect, the sister company. Um, I personally work four mornings a week between 9am and 1pm uh, every day, bar, every weekday, except Wednesdays. And generally I am kept <laughs> out of mischief with calls being put through by the, the fabulous backroom team, the people that you would speak to if you were to ring in to book a, a meeting, a, a reading. Without the support of the people in the office, none of this would be possible. And they are the best bunch of people I've ever worked alongside of. And all too often they are forgotten, but I try to make a point of thanking them for their help and advice every single time I work. I do also offer additional cover when it's needed in the evenings or at weekends but the best time if you want to catch me is Monday, Tuesday, 
Thursday, Friday between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. and that's uh, UK time. Um, I'm still not getting the, the messages coming through, um, I, which probably means I've done something wrong. Um, I'm hoping my daughter's watching this and she can come and help me, but we'll see. <laughs> Incidentally, I, I drew out one card before we started the this event and I'm just looking for it because I shoved it back in in the middle of the deck. If I just hold it up, that's the card I, I drew out at random. And the meaning of that particular card, the Six of Wands, to me is one of celebration and success and I was focusing on this event when I drew the card out so I hope that it's indicating that today will be as much fun as my last broadcast was and as soon as I start getting messages coming through I will start addressing questions um, oh, now I'm running out of words. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that I can hear my daughter moving around. Um, please excuse her presence when she comes in. Um, sorry, that wasn't my daughter. That was my sister bringing me a cup of tea, which I will consume shortly. Um, I was talking about my guides just before, um, and as I said, they are all family members. One is my father who passed to spirit when I was only two and a half. So I, I actually don't remember him in physical form, uh, but he is helping me on, on a daily basis. Another one is my mother, who herself was hmm, pretty psychic, but she didn't ever wish to develop the skills. Um, the other one is my maternal grandmother. Um, and she, <laughs> she tends to keep everyone in check. And the final one is my husband, who passed to spirit oh, 12 or so years ago. And he has been with me almost from the day he passed. And he has helped me immensely when I've tried to uh, move spirits who are stuck on the physical plane. He has, has helped me to open portals and has greeted the spirits into the spirit world and has helped them to um, adapt to their changed situation. Um, we haven't done any of that work for some time, mainly because I've no longer got the esoteric shop that we, we run as a family. Um, in fact, it was shortly after we opened that shop that my husband was taken ill and subsequently died, leaving it to me and my daughter to try and continue the, the business. Unfortunately, we, we were beaten by the economic slump many years ago. And I've been involved in various bits and pieces but something I have done in the past is run spiritual development groups and one-to-one -one work. I'm also a Reiki healer master or master healer, however you want to put it. And I have trained many people right across the world because I'm able with the 
skills of Reiki to make connections over distance. And I find it works very well indeed for training purposes as well. So, you know, I keep myself out of mischief, very much so. Um, still not getting those messages coming through. Okay. Um, I'm not technical enough to know what to do, which is why I need my daughter, but I've got a sneaky feeling she's not watching at the moment because otherwise she would have been here by now. Um, psychic truth is a relatively new telephone line, um, but it, the people who work on the line and in the background are all very experienced and they are more than willing to speak with people to, um, to help people in need, whether that be regarding relationship advice or career advice, house moving, um, money, that's quite a popular topic. Um, health, but it has to be remembered that none of the advisors on psychic truth are medical professionals. So anything that, any advice that comes through from spirit needs to be consulted with, uh, you know, during a meeting with a, a general practitioner, um, a doctor, just to get things checked out. Um, would never ever advise anyone to ignore any symptoms or aches, pains or whatever. Um, it must always be that it's checked out and checked out professionally. Uh, still no messages. I've probably done something wrong and I apologize for that. Um, let me just try a few of the, nope. No, I'm not getting them at all. Nope. Hmm, I do apologize. I was really looking forward to uh, doing mini readings for, for people this morning, but for some reason, I'm not able to do so. And there will be a reason for that. I believe very firmly that everything happens for a purpose. And that purpose isn't always evident at the time, but will make itself known at yeah, when it's appropriate to have that. Um, so, with the absence of these messages and requests, I'm just going to continue to warble on. I hope it's not too boring for those of you who are watching. Um, I'm just trying to think of some of the questions that came to me on my last broadcast. Not specific ones, obviously, but I had a number of questions about how to develop psychic skills. Um, it seemed that quite a number of people were experiencing psychic events but weren't quite sure what to do with them. Um, my advice to anybody who either wants to develop their psychic abilities or to enhance the abilities that they are already aware of is to 
practice, 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 practice. The more practice you put in, the greater the results that come out. But it can also be helpful to find someone who offers psychic development courses. Um, they vary in price, they vary in um, the range of development that occurs. So it, it's really important to carry out research until you find someone that clicks with you. And it is very much a personal uh, situation where it's got to feel right to you, otherwise it will not work. And therefore, if you're paying out any money, it's money wasted if you're not getting the development that you, you desire. It can be very, very fulfilling to be psychically aware, um, but it does, like with everything, come with a health warning. And that is the very first thing that you need to learn is how to protect yourself so that you are able to shut down when necessary because you don't want to be bombarded by spirit 24 seven because it will exhaust you. Um, also, you don't want um, company at certain times you know, you, you are entitled to your personal space, but I have found that by and large spirit actually respect that. Um, but once you've mastered the art of psychic protection, you can develop your skills as far as you want to. Um, once you find out what skills you have, you can then focus in on those skills to start with. Uh, you know, it could be that you're clairaudient, where you hear spirit, clairvoyant, where you see spirit, uh, clairsentient, like me, where you feel emotions. Um, there are many others and all the skills will produce or give the psychic the ability to gain information to pass on to people who are, are seeking help. But there's other things around the actual um, psychic skills that can be developed, such as using crystals, either for protection or for healing, or um, to help people during stressful times, such as taking exams. Um, Uh, you can learn to douse using a pendulum or divining rods, um, reading tea leaves, although it's very often seen as a fairground um, event, it isn't. It's a very genuine, valid way of connecting with spirit and getting messages. Um, Obviously, there's things like tarot, runes, oracle cards. They all have their purpose of helping to, to receive messages to pass on to seekers who are looking for help or, or guidance. Um, I'm just going to answer a question. Um, I'm just being asked if I can see the messages coming through, and of course I can't. Ah, right, that's lovely. 
um, just let me acknowledge that. Okay, apparently, even though I can't see the messages, there are several relationship questions. Um, it's difficult to give specifics because I, I'm not seeing the actual messages, but with relationships, I find that relationships develop, evolve over time. And for a, a relationship to survive, it needs to be worked on by both parties. Um, communication within a relationship is absolutely vital as is trust. Without trust, there is not a firm foundation for the relationship to, to be based on. Once trust is established, then both parties need to communicate, to talk about their hopes, their fears, their dreams for the future and hopefully by communicating both parties can come alongside one another and work together to reach the the desired outcome it sounds very easy it sounds so easy to say it like i just have but relationship work is, I think, one of the hardest things that we will ever do in our lives. But that communication does seem to be the, um, the best way of resolving issues, um, making plans for the future, ensuring that both parties are happy with the way things are. With that communication, it takes away the need to speculate. All right. Ah, Therese, Teresa, right. You're looking for some movement. Okay, I will draw some cards for you, Teresa. Um, I believe we communicated during the last broadcast. Your name seems familiar. I'll pull out the three cards like I was doing last time. And let's just see what's what. Ah, <gasps> wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. Wonderful, yeah. Okay, just to explain what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that things are moving on for you, Teresa. Um, they will feel quite muddled for a time while you go through that transition period. But I'd like to say that it is important for you to view situations from as many angles as you can so that you can build the bigger picture and see how things slot together and interact with one another. Just a, a word of warning. Um, I would say to you that any gossip that is taking place around you keep your distance. It doesn't do any good at all. It's pure speculation and it can be damaging. So try and stay distant. All right, Trees. I hope that helps. And Robin in Australia. Let's have a look. Just shuffle those cards back in and pull out three cards for you, Robin. Okay, oh, that one, definitely. Right. 
Okay, Robin. I am picking up that you are currently um, pondering which direction to move in. It will become very clear to you and the current state of um, disillusionment that you're experiencing will pass. Again, as I would said for Therese, um, I feel you are on the threshold of a new phase in your, <coughs> oh sorry, of your life. And that is always somewhat upsetting, disruptive, as all change is. But trust your gut feeling, go with what you feel is right for you. Everything will be in balance. The good and the not so good will even out. And, okay, thank you. My guides have just come in and said, tell her not to worry. Everything is going in the right direction. She, you're doing all the right things. And it's gonna get very much more brighter and positive for you in the near, very near future. Okay, all right. They've just said they won't help me with the timeline on this occasion, but they're saying it will be soon. And usually with my guide, soon means within a couple of months. So a couple of months to work through the transition and reach the next life phase that's opening up for you, Robin. I wish you every success. Not that you're going to need it because it's going to arrive for you anyway. Right. Any other questions, I wonder? Until I get some more posted for me, um, just going back to you know, the more general information about relationships. And one of the best pieces of advice that I have ever been given is never to go to bed with an unresolved argument. Make sure that everything is sorted out and settled before you go to sleep. And that way you're dealing with potential problems before they they really take root and that way the relationship can stay fresh and harmonious. Um, I'm just going to touch on health issues. Um, I know there are quite a number of readers who will not answer health questions and I respect them for that. It, as I said before, it needs to be borne in mind that your psychic reader is not a medical professional. Therefore, any information that comes must always be checked out with a medical professional. Um, it is possible to get some indications of what is going on via spirit, but I don't know how many psychics have got doctors or nurses amongst their, their guides. And this is why it comes with the, the warning that it, you need to consult with medical professionals. Um, finances. Now that's a very popular um, topic and very often it links in with career jobs as well because we, we work in order to gain finances. But there can be indications, you know, from spirit that Perhaps a, a bonus is on its way, 
or a change of occupation and whether that's going to be smooth or take time to manifest. Um, and occasionally it's, it is possible to receive messages that indicate a windfall, either a, a legacy being left to a person or indeed a win on say a lottery. They, they don't happen that often, but indications have been given. So, you know, it's always worth asking and seeking that, that help and information. Um, going back to, to jobs, um, and this is from my perspective, I find it quite tricky to be specific about the type of work that might be opening up. And that's where I come to rely on my guides to a large extent, uh, because they can look more widely than I am able to. Um, but even so, the job area tends to be somewhat generic, let's put it that way. Um, so it's unlikely that I would be able to say, yes, you will start a job as X, Y, Z, but more likely that I could um, say the industry area that you could find yourself working in. So it could be a financial field, it could be medical, it could be administration. So I just want to make it clear that we can't necessarily give specific details. Um, however, a couple of weeks ago, I did actually have uh, the colours of a company logo given to me and they were absolutely spot on for the company that this particular seeker had recently applied to. So, you know, it can happen, but it's, for me, it's not the norm. Uh, right, uh, what else do people ask about? Pregnancy is another fairly popular topic of uh, for seekers. Um, again, this goes along with the the medical side, where we may get an indication of, say, the number of children that someone may have ultimately, or indications that a pregnancy may be imminent, but it's very difficult to be specific about uh, gender or even explicit about timings. Okay, Tammy, you're asking if I can connect with your cat who passed recently. I'm so sorry for your loss. It's always difficult when a, a close pet dies because they are so much part of your life. Um, I'm just asking my guides to see if they can locate your cat. Um, but what I am picking up very clearly is that your cat is at peace and is happy. Sorry to have left you behind, but the time had come for, for the cat to move on. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. 
Right. What my guides have come back with is that, yes, she is definitely at peace and is settling in well. Everyone around has been very welcoming and have helped with the settling in process. Um, oh, that's nice. Thank you. My guides have just said your, your cat has a message for you, Tammy, and that is, please don't worry. Everything is okay. And she has learned that you are being blessed by or blessed guided by a lucky star so anything you turn your hand to providing you you know invest energy into it it will be successful for you um okay I don't know if you're aware, Tammy, but cats are probably the most psychic of animals. And, oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, your cat is trying very hard um, to become a guide for you. She loves you so much and wants to continue having the associations with you. Right, okay. But these things don't happen overnight. And as on earth, she needs to go through a period of training, but it's happening, it's working, and she's getting there. All right. Okay, and general insight for the rest of this year, and is it safe to change career or start a new relationship? Okay, let me have a look at that, those aspects. Right, I'm going to have to deal out a few more cards. I'm not going to get all that information from three. So let's go for five. Not at all. Three, four, five. I often ask myself how I know which are the right cards to pull out, um, especially if I'm going for 10 or 15 cards. You know, that is quite a challenge. Um, but it's almost as if I get... Um, a bit of um, an electric shock, a tingle in my fingers as I'm going through the cards. And that tells, the stronger the, the sensation, the more appropriate the card that I've got my fingers hovering over. Now, oh wow, what a brilliant set of cards. Um, right, okay. The rest of this year is going to be quite active. You will be doing a lot of thinking, a lot of planning. Um, but I can see that in the near future, any troubles that you are currently experiencing will ease you will get beyond those. And spirit are currently preparing for you to move into a new life phase. Now, I believe that relates to, I think it's more work than relationship, although relationships are also aspected. Um, whether it's going to be a, the start of a new relationship or more likely, right, thank you, thank you. My guides have just said it's 
a friendship, a new friendship that will be starting up for you, that friendship will be based very much on communication, you know, regular communication between the two of you. Um, and those conversations will lead you both to explore hopes and dreams for the future. And that friendship has the potential to develop into a strong, loving, sharing, supportive relationship. But the major changes are coming on the work front. So be prepared to um, apply for anything that looks even remotely suitable for you. And when you connect with the right company, everything will take off and it will go brilliantly for you. It's definitely time for a change. And that change will prove to be really beneficial. Okay, I hope that helps. If anyone wants more information or wants a, a full reading, then please don't hesitate to contact Psychic Truth and book for a reading. And I know the, the team in the office will be only too happy to, to work with you to make that possible. Um, I admit I don't fully understand the processes that are involved in booking a reading. I'm on the other end of delivering the reading, but I know that there are many repeat customers who are very happy with the service that they receive. And I would hope that you out there are able to connect and enjoy similar experiences. Right, um, another question. Is the use of crystals or charms, does it really help? It depends on the circumstances and on the skills of the reader, it has to be said. I do use crystals, but not as much as I would like to. Um, but I do have a, a working knowledge of which crystals can help in certain situations. And if I do get stuck, I've got books that I can turn to 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 research. Also, the internet can be an excellent resource to use. Charms, I've got to say, yes, they work. Whenever I'm working, I wear a piece of moonstone. That is a stone that um, helps me to connect to spirit. It helps me to get clear messages. Um, and I find it helpful. I can't think of a, another way of saying it. Sometimes they work for people, sometimes they don't. Um, or they can be helpful at certain times in a person's life. For example, I've recently advised someone to wear a piece of obsidian, which is volcanic glass. Um, because they feel they are picking up negative energies and obsidian or any other black stone um, can help to, to ward off any negative energies, either whether they're directed at you or whether you're just susceptible to picking them up. But negative energy can disrupt ways of thinking, ways of seeing things, areas of perception. So it's useful to know that you can protect yourself to a, 
to a large degree. Um, and for those who might be looking for a relationship, a piece of rose quartz, which is very closely aligned to relationship issues and aligns with the heart chakra, it can be very helpful. And yeah, while I'm on crystals, if you want to attract money, have a piece of citron, cit citrine in your purse. Or if you're in business and have a till, keep a piece of citrine in your till. But citrine is an interesting one. Make sure that it is natural citrine, not heat treated amethyst, which looks like citrine. Um, but citrine is the main crystal for attracting money. And believe me, it works. It works particularly if you send out the intention to spirit, universe, God, angels, however you, you view the energies around us, it will strengthen your wishes. Um, just trying to think of... Um, for someone who is suffering from stress or anxiety, a very good crystal, not very common, but you can get them through the internet, is Apache Tears. And the legend is that the tears were formed by um, Indian schools who had been widowed, crying into a river and their tears solidifying. That's the, the legend. But Apache tear, tears are a type of obsidian, but it's smoky, not black. It can appear black, but if you hold it up to a light source, the light can come through it. And it really does work to relieve anxiety. So it's a good stone for people who are um, working through exam periods, for example. Um, it's very, very helpful for recently uh, bereaved people as well. And Apache Tears can help to bridge the gap between physical and spirit realms. Um, the master crystal of all crystals is clear quartz. Um, and that also comes in various forms. You can get it completely clear. You can get it with occlusions, which are bits and pieces that have been trapped in the stone. Um, you can get it with tourmaline in it which makes it extremely powerful. Um, tourmaline is one crystal that I cannot handle because the vibrations of it are far too high for me to, to cope with. However, my daughter doesn't have that problem because she works at a much, much higher vibrational level than I do. Um, but she's chosen at this point not to develop her, her psychic abilities, but I'm pleased in some ways because it, it means I don't have competition from home. Um, but she has very, very strong feelings of intuition and her skills at picking up negative vibes from people is so well advanced. Um, and the two of us, when we're both on form, we work extremely well together. Um, and it's my daughter who is very much into crystals. Um, her collection is extensive, far more than, than mine, but I do borrow. <laughs> um, right, I'm just 
picking up on on the word chance. Um, just something I've seen recently on the internet is people are promoting um, eyes with the thought or the intention that those amulets charms will stave off negativity. Whether that is true or not, um, a, a lot of things with charms, amulets, and the such like, comes down to your own personal belief. And like me with my moonstone, if you believe in something strongly enough, you, you can draw um, energy and strength through that amulet charm. So if something feels right, don't hesitate to, to wear it, to use it, to have it about your person. Um, now, I see that we're coming to a close. We've got about four minutes left. So if you do have any questions, get them in quick and they can be passed on to me. Um, but, you know, as I said before, if you want a full in-depth reading, then please don't hesitate to, to make contact with Psychic Truth and book a reading through them. And I'd like to say I can guarantee you won't be disappointed, but that sort of guarantee is very difficult to give in this field, but I'm sure you will gain from your experience, very much so. Um, and I look forward to, to working with some of you in the future. That's what I'm here for. That's what I really love doing. I love talking to individuals about things that are of importance to them at that particular time in their lives. And more often than not, I am able to give guidance, advice that helps with various difficulties, problems, issues, aspects of their lives. And as I said, I absolutely love doing that. That is my purpose for being here, for being a member of the spiritual community and in particular, being a member of the Psychic Truth team and the Psychics Connect team. So please don't, don't hold back. Make yourselves known to us and make your own minds up about whether or not we are able to provide you with some useful information. And I really do look forward to working with some of you in the near, near future. I'm going to say thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for participating. And I will ensure that next time I'm able to see the messages clearly, but it's not worked too bad with getting messages relayed through our backroom team. And none of what we do would be possible without them, as I said earlier on. So please get to know us. All right. Thank you very, very much for sticking with me. And I'm looking forward to the next time. Okay. Take care now.